you're recording. Okay, I got a Marlin 3030, but it's a Model 336. The take gap down guide I've got is nice, but it doesn't give you some of the details that I like. As in, when you start putting it back together, it doesn't say where the parts pieces are supposed to be positioned. It's more of a just jam the bolt in there and wiggle it around until something happens. And I'm not happy with that. But first, before we can put it together, we have to take it apart. So to do that, first I just break the bolt open just a little bit. And then, see the screw right here, this hinge screw? That's gotta go. So, take that screw out. Lay it aside. There it goes. And then, you gotta pull this bolt out. Now here's an oh yeah butt. This is a round cylinder bolt, but right here, right here is a little spring tab that's got corners that are not in within the cylinder. These are drag points, just so you know what to focus on. Okay, pull it out. It's not easy, but, and you got to watch the sharp edges around here, so be aware of what you're pulling on. There are sharp edges. Work it out. There it is. Okay, now you've got it clear. You can clean the bore. It's, oh, 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 ho, ho, ho. I did not show you this. I think it's an extractor pin. I have to look, but see right here? Here, I'll help you. I got a flashlight. Usually this thing falls out when you pull the bolt, but sometimes it doesn't. But right in here, this thing. No flashlight. No flashlight? You don't like the flashlight. Okay. Take that out. Because that's going to fall out eventually. Okay. Now we're going to put it back together. Well, first thing you got to do is take that same little extractor or whatever it is. Notice the little, the little nubbin on there? This little nubbin right here, there's a hole on the housing of the receiver that that hole has to go, that pin has to go into. <clears throat> so, you can see if you look in here, there's a groove that that fits in. Right there. That's where that sets. Okay, now let's look at this bolt. Now that, I'm calling it an extractor just because I don't have a term for it. This groove in the bolt is what accommodates that extractor. And you also have to remember these things sticking up. They're going to be factors too. Okay, now what I'm going to have to do is have my video videographer come around to my right side and look in this hole here. I have to, and I can't pick up the gun because I'm going to lose my extractor pin. If you look in the hole there, you will see, see that moving? That thing there that I'm pushing in, do you see that videographer? Then you should see it, but there's something that is literally blocking where the bolt goes through. <clears throat> you got to push that down, otherwise you're just wasting your time. And then, so you got the extractor spring in there, you got that bolt issue, let me see if I can show that to you. Mm, I don't think it's showing up. But anyway, make sure look down there, make sure that's clear. 
Now you take your bolts. Remember the extractor spring goes in this groove right here. And remember these two are going to be fighting you. And reinsert that bolt. It's not easy. Okay, you got it up. I got it partially in. Now I'm going to look in here. You'll have to come around to my left again. I'm going to look here and make sure that spring, I can actually look inside there and see if that spring is lined up in that groove with the bolt. And I'm going to have to put my head down there so you cannot see it for a moment. And I am misaligned. And I rotate the bolt so that that groove slides over the spring. Now, I'm up against there, starting in with that spring. What helps an awful lot is if you push down and back on that spring right there. And then try to get the bolt forward. Look at that! Now, don't slide it all the way forward. Just partially. Now, quit. Take your lever. Slide that into position. Just feel it in so it lines up. Stick your screw in there again. Tighten that screw down. And you should be golden. Now, if you won't back off. We're good to go. That's all.